The Department of Petroleum Resources continues its surveillance of petrol stations across the country and soon discovers more unacceptable practices. Some of the findings in Port Harcourt, the river state capital, include petroleum marketers alleged to be ripping off motorists by adjusting their fuel pumps and selling higher than the approved prices. Other marketers were accused of selling without valid licenses. The DPR zonal controller for River State says he is disappointed by these discoveries, having just met with members of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria with an agreement that there will be no more fraudulent activities. Before this time around, we had a meeting with Ipman and the marketers executive, and we advised them that DPR will no longer tolerate any form of illegality and uh, attempt to cheat the public in any way. This motorist believes it's a good example of how to fight corruption in the different sectors of the economy and remains optimistic that the DPR surveillance will keep many marketers in check. You buy fuel for 1,000 or 2,000 naira, it's not complete. That's what they do everywhere. And if you people continue what you're doing, kudos to you. You are doing a very good job. And I appreciate it. As a car user, I appreciate what you are doing. Up north in Kano and Jigawa states, the supply of premium motor spirit has been relatively stable, a welcome development to motorists. While some filling stations still maintain the approved price, of 145 naira per litre, others deceive the public by displaying reduced prices to attract patronage and then under dispensing to the motorists who are unaware of this fraud. It takes the DPR to reveal the truth. Uh, for every 10 litres, they are shortchanging a customer to about 300 mils, which is about uh, 0.3 litres for every 10 litres. So automatically, uh, they are selling, uh, if, you, if you try to permutate it, you will get, uh, at least for every litre, a customer is paying more than the approved 145 naira. Some were sealed, others got a strong warning. We wish to seize this opportunity to warn petroleum marketing companies to desist from sharp practices as severe weight of the law await any defaulting company. In Adamawa State, the Department of Petroleum Resources uncovered a smuggling depot of petroleum products in a Ruga settlement near the border with the Republic of Cameroon. A team led by the state DPR controller discovered the depot while in search of fuel stations operating without licenses. Somebody is erecting a filling station and the filling station has not even been completed and they are already bringing products and they have a warehouse with more than a thousand jerry cans there. So we are calling on the security agencies to do something about this place because this is one of the routes through which products have been smuggled into Cameroon. So where is the manager? The DPR is assuring the public that its surveillance continues across the country and promising to root out fraudulent marketers and make them pay with the revocation of their licenses.